Sack Life! Beat Depression and Stay 753, and we're back with another somatic healing session to wipe out depression. Thank you so much, everybody, for being here now. Anyone who's tuning in later. As you guys know, it's Martial Arts for Mental Health Show, and we focus in on those powerful mental health tools first, because without mental health, nothing else matters. Right? So one of the most powerful tools we can use, and a very easy one to get the hang of, is that powerful tool of gratitude. My gratitude going out today to the world champ himself, Greg Wooten, for lending his talents, his skills, his time, his experience to help us with our cause. It's his birthday today. If you get a chance, shout him out. Give him a shout. Uh, he's, I'm super grateful to him for all that he's done for me and for us and for this program uh, and for all his support. He's really a super cool dude, super down to earth, really humble, uh, and just great energy to be around, great energy to work with. So gratitude going out to Greg today. Also gratitude going out to Nina Carita for supporting me out there in California. Muay Thai Demon Sunshine. Uh, never met a train killer more more sweet than Nina Carita. Uh, just adding so many positive vibes. And they're really improving my life experience. And that's one of the powers of good social support. It's just another mental health tool. So go ahead and think about the things that you're grateful for today. That'll help put you in that positive mindset. And then the next tool we'll talk about is social support. We're doing it right now. We're building a social support system for one another. That in itself can be a powerful tool, especially in critical times. So shout out to Lisa the Luminary. Shout out to Luca. Hi, me and Dr. Sam is here. He's ready to do hi <laughs> Well, someone's coming in. For, it sounds more like Claire than Luca. I'm not sure if Luca's there with you, Claire. But if not, want to shout out, say hello to uh, Dr. Sam for me. And shout out gratitude to Dr. Sam, gratitude to Luca, gratitude to Claire out there, five years old, inspirational, fighting forwards every day, showing up uh, every day that she can, showing up for herself and making that progress and being an inspiration to others. If you don't know Claire, she's been tuning in, she's battling forwards through chemo, through other things out there, and she's doing a heck of a job. Keep going, Claire. You're superhuman out there, inspiring people all over the world. And if you'd like to support kids like Claire, uh, please do take part in that 10 kick challenge that Century Martial Arts and Kids Kick Cancer have going on right now. All you got to do is record 10 kicks, post it up, tag them, tag three friends, and you're entered for a chance to win a free pair of gloves plus a punching bag from Century. So you could be rewarded. And even if you're not rewarded, you're really helping these kids out here. You're helping improve the environment, and it's all good because this is where we live, right? We're all here on the same planet. It's our home. These people are our environment, they're our friends, and having good people around us, like we just talked about, having that social support system of positive, upbuilding people can help improve our life experience as well, give us a better better experience out here. So gratitude to everybody out there, showing up for one another, making progress, uh, building each other up, working on that growth mindset, and supporting one another. And Mad With Hats, thank you for being here. Slayer Ken, thanks for tuning in. Taekwon Damas. Thanks for being here as well. And now let's talk about that next mental health tool, the progress tracking tool. It's been 753 days for me, the sack man of continuous progress and success, continuous training. Let me know how many days it's been for you. This tool is another super powerful one. Um, I, Because I used multiple tools on my way out of clinical depression, I can't pinpoint exactly which one was the most powerful, but I can tell you this daily tracking tool Help me give myself accurate credit for my strength and endurance. And it was something that was very hard to do before I kept track of it. It's really easy to forget how far you've come and how much work you've put in when you're not giving yourself a metric, giving yourself something physical to look at. Um, it's very easy because depression puts us into this victim mindset that likes to make us feel like we're powerless to change it. But this is our proof, our real, real world proof that we are stronger than those debilitating effects and we are stronger than those lies of depression and it will help you give yourself accurate credit based on fact based on truth not on temporary feelings and temporary experiences that depression will try to feed us instead base it on the proof you give yourself you can guarantee yourself success by keeping track of that number and then share it with others because it's inspiring to see that we're not alone out here and no matter what circumstance you're in you can show up for you give yourself a challenge crush that challenge right in the face of anything you're dealing with. Um, Want to shout out to everybody out there who has been sharing their progress. 361 days from Ken, crushing it. 453 days 
from Lisa the Luminary, destroying it out there, just making that nonstop progress. Thank you guys so much for sharing and building each other up. And Instagram is still not letting me see how many people is are here. I've updated. I did all that stuff, so I don't know what's going on. But I am seeing comments today, so that's a good thing. Um, that being said, today is our active recovery day. So we're going to be going through this thing at low intensity. I wanted to bring you out to a water feature, but now it looks like there's a flash flood warning in town and the weather is chaos. So we're coming at you indoors. But we're still going to make it a water flow Wednesday. We're going to flow through movements, just like Bruce Lee, taking form into those different martial arts, striking patterns. We're going to use the power of breath, that breathwork tool, another powerful tool in the battle for better, better mental health. Well, that's tongue twisters. In the battle for better mental health. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that breathwork tool can be super powerful. So we're going to tune into what's known as diaphragmic breathing. I'll show you guys how to do that. We're going to link it in with movement, turning it into a movie meditation. And we're going to practice some different martial arts striking patterns with some elbows, with some advancing techniques as we use that breathwork tool as a guide. And by keeping it slow and low intensity, we can give our bodies that rest period that we need for proper training. Uh, a critical part of training is active recovery you know, or passive recovery. But if we train smart, we never need to take a day off. We can take these active recovery days, continue to sharpen our tools, sharpen our skills, and let our bodies get that rest that it needs to rebuild that muscle and rebuild uh, those muscle connections. Uh, thank you for the head count there, Ken. I appreciate that. Um, so let's talk about the diaphragmic breathing tool first. You can use this tool alone to de-stress, to calm the nervous system if you're in a high anxiety situation, you're going through stresses in life. Just place one hand over the chest as a guide, one hand over the belly. Once you get used to the breathing technique, you won't need the hands anymore, so you can do it even without. But what we want to do is keep that chest nice and flat, and we want to breathe expanding and contracting the belly. This is known as diaphragmic breathing. We're going to breathe deep through the nose to the belly, keeping the chest nice and flat. Let's try it together. Deep breath in through the nose, nice and slow. Expand in that belly. Hold on to it for a moment. Long and slow exhale out the mouth. Notice the belly falling. The chest stays flat the whole time. We want to make sure we're breathing with the belly, not the chest. Because breathing with the chest will activate the nervous system. And breathing with the belly will calm the nervous system. It's the power of diaphragmic breathing. Uh, Claire is here. Thanks for tuning in on Braces Can Be Scary. Uh, she said Luke is going home now. He's sad. I'm sorry to hear he's sad. I hope that he's feeling better uh, soon. And I hope we see him again soon. Um, tell him, you know, I'm thinking about him. <laughs> Tell him I hope he feels better. And I'll be around if he needs to talk. Shoot me a DM. DMs are always open if anybody needs any support out there if you're going through things. You'll get a judgment-free zone. No judgment. <laughs> We're all human out here. We all deal with stuff. So if you need a place to vent, just get it out. My DMs are always open to anybody uh, out there who needs a listening ear. So let's get back on track with the breathwork tool. We're going to have a stand, uh, non-standard round today. It's going to be 10 minutes all the way through. We'll have calming music coming through the boombox. We're going to be using that breathwork tool. I want to show you how to make it a little bit more effective than just the basic. Uh, so one hand over the chest, one hand over the belly. We're going to breathe deep through the nose, filling that belly with air. And then on the exhale, we want to make sure that exhale is through the mouth and we put some resistance in between the lips. We want back pressure there. That will further exercise that diaphragmic breathing muscle and make it even more effective at calming that nervous system. Uh, Dr. Sam says hello. Hello to Dr. Sam. Thank you for your support. Appreciate you out there. So let's practice that diaphragmic breathing tool again with the bonus, with the added benefit of resistance between those lips on the exhale. Deep inhale through the nose, nice and slow to the belly. Hold on to it. Long and slow out the mouth with resistance. Letting the belly fall flat, chest stays flat the whole time, resistance in the mouth. And we want to make sure that that exhale is twice as long, at least twice as long as the inhale. That's another important part uh, to making that breathwork tool effective. Now that's our tool. That's our diaphragm and breathing tool. Next, we're going to link in movement, and we're going to go through different martial arts movements as we practice those striking patterns. Ten minutes straight through. We'll be taking many breaks in between as we roll through just to check in on us and recheck in on that breath work tool. Make sure we're calming the nervous system and keeping that intensity low. 
I'll explain the movements as we go along. Let's get into this thing. Let's do it. Bam. Two. There we go. Calm and music on the boom box. And that should be good. Hopefully that's coming in loud and clear. All right, so go ahead and pop in to your Muay Thai stance. And Claire says she can put Stella on her belly. I think Stella's a stuffed animal. That's a good idea. If you're laying down and you practice that breathwork tool, you can use a stuffed animal as a guide. Make sure the belly's moving and the chest is staying flat. All right, for the movement, to add movement into it and make it even more effective, we're going to turn it into a martial arts moving meditation right now known as Water Flow Wednesday. Let's square up with our visualized target in Muay Thai stance. We're gonna take that deep breath in as we assume our defensive position. Once we have that breath held in the belly, we're gonna exhale long and slow out the mouth and we're gonna match that forward momentum, that forward striking pattern with that exhale, letting that exhale be our guide. And we wanna keep those strikes to a minimum, uh, to a maximum of three strikes and we want to do them nice and slow so that on that final strike, we're just at the end of that breath and everything's going to flow nice and uh, smoothly together. So let's do it together. Deep breath in through the nose as we assume defensive position. Guard high by the brow line. Close the fingers, tuck the thumbs. Square up. Long and slow. Exhale through jabs. Twist in through the body. Exhaling out the mouth. Extending that jab forwards. Stay in that striking position till you fully exhaled out the mouth. And deep inhale back to the belly. Guard high, hold on to that breath. Long, slow exhale forward. Turn it nice and slow into that striking pattern. Deep inhale back through the nose to the belly. And now we're gonna start to mix it up. We're gonna go into jab and cross. Long exhale through jab, cross. Two strikes here, one long exhale out the mouth, and deep inhale back to defensive position. Hold that breath in the belly as you assume defensive position, long and slow exhale through jab cross. Fully exhale there, deep inhale back. Hold that breath in the belly, long and slow exhale forward. Two strikes, one long exhale out the mouth. Deep inhale back to defensive position. And now we're gonna start throwing in some hooks. So we're gonna long exhale forwards into the jab. And then from here, I want you guys to twist back and toss a hook from the same side. We're gonna use just that single exhale all the way through both strikes and then deep inhale back through the nose to the belly. Hold that breath in the belly, step in for the hook on the exhale, step in for the jab first, keep exhaling all the way through, boom, and hit him with the hook, back to stance, deep inhale back, hold that breath in the belly, step in for the jab, remember to rewind before you toss that hook, keeping the guard high on the opposite side, deep inhale back to the defensive position. Hold that breath in the belly. Long, slow exhale as you step in for the jab. Long exhale there. Through those pursed lips, through both movements. Deep inhale back through the nose to the belly. Shout out to this kid is lucky. Hold that breath in the belly in defensive position. Long and slow exhale. All the way through both strikes. Deep inhale back. Hold that breath and let's return to the power of that breath. Checking in on comms, checking in on ourselves. One hand over chest, one hand over the belly. We're gonna make sure that we're keeping that intensity low and calming that nervous system. Deep breath in through the nose, fill that belly. Hold on to it. Long and slow exhale out the mouth, pursed lips. And one more time, deep breath in through the nose to the belly. Long exhale out the mouth. And let's return to stance. We're gonna take that deep breath in again. We're gonna start working with 
starting with the hook and then going right into a body shot. All right, so take that deep breath into the belly and hold in defensive position. Guard high by the brow line, chin tuck, shoulders rolled, hips curled. Long exhale as you step forward, into hook. From here, we're gonna drop the rear hand down, bring this one back to defend the head. We're gonna fire from the hip, and roll through on the ball of the rear foot. Exhaling all the way through. We've got two strikes here, but we wanna use one long exhale. Deep inhale back, and remember to stay balanced the entire time, through the nose to the belly. Holding that breath in the belly, step in for the hook. Flow right in to that body shot from the rear hand. Deep inhale back. Bringing the hand back to guard, holding that breath in the belly, long and slow. Exhale through hook. And then body shot. Notice that right after the hook connects, I'm bringing it back to defend the head in this single uh, center line position. And I'm rotating on the ball of the back foot, sending that body shot forwards. Arms at 90 degrees, wrists nice and straight for both techniques. Deep inhale back to defensive position. And we're stepping in to the lead hook. We're bringing it back to the head to defend as we drop the rear arm to 90 degrees and fire through the hip. Driving it forwards into the guts of that depression dummy. Deep inhale back. Let's make it smooth. Let's make it one fluid movement. Long exhale forwards through hook to body shot. Remember to move that guard to center line as we toss the body shot. Deep inhale back and we're bringing the hand back to guard. Guard high, long exhale forwards into hook, but then to body shot. Twisting through the hips, rotating on the ball of each foot. We're using the lead foot to toss the hook, the rear foot to toss the body shot. Deep inhale back, the defensive stance. Shout out to you, Manny Fuego, appreciate your support. Hold that breath in the belly, long and slow exhale through hook, then body shot. Remember, push through first lips to activate that diaphragmic breathing muscle and calm the nervous system. Deep inhale back. Guard high, hold that breath in the belly, long and slow, step in for hook, body shot. Two shots, one long exhale. Deep inhale back. Long exhale forward. Deep inhale back. Get nice and fluid with it. Make it feel like one movement here. Two strikes with one movement. Deep inhale back. Bringing the hands back to guard. Long and slow exhale forward. Deep inhale back. Make sure you finish that breath in the last striking position. Long exhale forward. Finish that breath out of the mouth and deep inhale back. Let's return to the power of that breath. Claire says deep breaths work good if she closes her eyes. If you're doing the breath work too long, absolutely, close your eyes. If not, you wanna keep them open and visualize that target so we can practice that martial arts technique at the same time. One hand over chest, one hand over belly. Let's return to the breath. Deep breath in. Hold. Long and slow exhale through first lips. Deep inhale to the belly. Through the nose. Long exhale out the mouth. First those lips are out of resistance. One more time, let's make sure we calm that heart rate. Deep breath into the belly. Long exhale out the mouth. Now we're gonna to return to defensive stance and you can throw any strike that you'd like, any striking pattern that you'd like. Just keep it to a maximum of three strikes. Deep inhale back to the belly. Long exhale forwards through striking patterns. Deep inhale back. Exhale forwards. It can be a single strike, it can be a combination of three strikes. But kind of max out at three, that way we can keep the intensity low. Deep inhale back. Long exhale forward. 
deep inhale back. Hold that breath in the belly long. Exhale forwards. Deep inhale back. Long exhale forwards. Fully exhale there. Deep inhale back. Use any striking pattern you like. You can include knees or kicks. Long exhale forwards. Deep inhale back. Long exhale forwards. Deep inhale back. Long exhale forwards. Deep inhale back. One more long exhale through. That is the end of our moving meditation martial arts for mental health session, also known as Water Flow Wednesday. Let's make sure that nervous system is under our control and we're calming it down as we deserve for our active recovery. One hand over the chest, one hand over the belly. Return to the power of that breath. Deep inhale to the belly. Hold on to it for a moment. Close your eyes here like Claire to make it super effective. Long exhale out the mouth. First lips, and you can visualize that breath moving in and out of the body. Make it even more effective if you're tuning into just that breath work tool. Eyes closed, hands as guide, deep inhale through the nose to the belly. Hold on to it for a moment, long exhale out the mouth. Let's do it together. Long exhale. One more time, deep in through the nose. Remember to exhale twice as long as that inhale. And that is it, that is the end of our active recovery water flow Wednesday. Hopefully you found moves that you can improve on. Uh, hopefully you refine that martial arts form, those patterns, those techniques. At the same time, you're feeling those calming effects of that diaphragmic breathing tool. If you are feeling benefits of this class, please do share it with others. Let them know what works for you. As individuals, we all have to find those tools that work best for us. So we're all hit. We may all be suffering from the same similar type of mental illness, such as depression or anxiety, but it affects us differently. And as individuals, we all vibe. Uh, differently with specific tools. So keep looking for the ones that work for you if you found them on this show and maybe it's just the breath, maybe it's just the movement, maybe it's just the striking patterns, maybe it's just the visualization. Take those tools that work for you and put them in to a super effective routine to give yourself the best fighting chance forward against anything that's trying to stop you. Until next time, I will catch you guys and girls same sack time, same sack channel, same sack life. Sack man out. Shout out to Master Checo and Ellen. Thank you for your support.